So let's find the greatest common factor of two numbers. In the first example, we'll do 20 and 44. So I think this is a good way to set this up. I'm going to put the two numbers next to each other, 20 and 44. I'm going to do a little division here, where I'm going to say to myself, are there any factors that come out of both 20 and 44? Well, I know they're both even, so the least I can do is take a 2 out. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide each number by 2. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. And 44 divided by 2 is 22. Okay, so can I continue? Is there another number that divides both of these evenly? Well, they both are still even, so I know I can take another 2 out of there. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So now, is there another number that divides both 5 and 11 evenly? Well, there's not. So I know that I'm done. And my GCF is going to be the product of all these numbers I pulled out. Well, I pulled out a 2 and a 2, so I know my GCF is going to be 4. In the next example, I'm going to find the GCF, or the greatest common factor, of 48 and 64. So we're going to do the same sort of thing we just got done doing. I'm going to put my 48 and my 64 right next to each other. And I'm going to think to myself, well, is there a number that's going to multiply both of these evenly? Well, and again, like we said last time, I know they're both even, so at least I can do is take a 2 out. So 48 divided by 2 is 24. 64 divided by 2 is 32. And is there another number that will divide them? Well, again, they're both still even, right? So 24 divided by 2 is 12. 32 divided by 2 is 16. Once again, they're still both even, so I can say 6 and 8. And then 6 and 8 are still even, so 3 and 4. So after 3 and 4, I see, oh, nope, no more common factors between 3 and 4. So I had 1, 2, 3, 4 twos. So I'm going to say that my greatest common factor is 1, 2, 3, 4 twos, all multiplied together. So it's going to be 16. In my next example, we're going to find the GCF again, or greatest common factor, of 36 and 54. So my 36 and my 54 are going to go side by side. I'm going to put my bar here. And I notice, yet again, they're still even, or they're both even. So I can pull a 2 out. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 54 divided by 2 is 27. Is there another number that will divide both of these evenly? Well, I notice that 18 is even, but 27 is not even, so I cannot divide it by 2. But is there another number that will divide both of these evenly? Well, 3 will. 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 times 9 is 27. So when I divide, I'll get 6 and 9. And is there a number that will divide both 6 and 9 evenly? Well, sure, 3 will. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And uh, 2 and 3, nothing else will divide out of there, so we're done. So my GCF will be these numbers multiplied together, so the product of 2 and 3 and 3. So 2 times 3 times 3, and that's going to be 18. So the greatest common factor of 36 and 54 is 18. In the next example, it says find the GCF, or the greatest common factor, of 30 and 70. So I'm going to write 30 and 70 right next to each other. And is there anything that comes out of here? Well, I notice they both end in a 0, so I know I can pull a 10 out. So 30 divided by 10 is 3. 70 divided by 10 is 7. How about 3 and 7? Is there anything that will divide out of both of those evenly? Well, nope. So we're done. So we only pulled out one number, so the greatest common factor will be 10. In the last example, we're going to find the GCF, or the greatest common factor, of 42 and 63. So, 42 and 63 can go side by side. And is there any number that's going to come out nicely of 42 and 63 and divide them evenly? Well, uh, it looks like a 3 will, because 4 plus 2 is 6, which is divisible by 3, and 6 plus 3 is 9, which is divisible by 3. So it looks like we can pull a 3 out of there. 
So 42 divided by 3 will be 14. 63 divided by 3 will be 21. Oh, and it looks like 14 and 21 will both divide nicely by 7. So 14 divided by 7 is 2. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And we're left with 2 and 3, which nothing can divide those evenly. So the product of 3 and 7 will be my GCF. So 3 times 7 is 21. So the greatest common factor of 42 and 63 is 21.